Welcome to the VMware Cloud on AWS Quick Start Series. Wouldn't it be nice if you could manage your on-premises and cloud inventories in a single pane of glass? Well, you're in luck. You can maintain operational efficiency with the vCenter Cloud Gateway Appliance. I'm Jeremiah McGee with VMware, and in this video, I'll walk you through deploying this appliance on-premises and configuring hybrid link mode so you can manage both environments with ease. It's important that we maintain consistent operations and simplified administration between both on-premises and cloud environments. Hybrid link mode enables customers to obtain a single logical view and hybrid management of both on-premises and VMware Cloud on AWS resources. This is accomplished by deploying a virtual appliance on-premises called the vCenter Cloud Gateway. Like enhanced link mode that you may be running on-premises, this appliance allows us to share some data between vCenters, but also allows us to maintain some level of administrative separation, such as roles and permissions. The vCenter Cloud Gateway receives automatic updates based on the version of the connected SDDC, so there's never a need to manually patch or upgrade the appliance. If you have multiple vCenters in the same SSO domain, you'll be able to view and manage all of them in the same inventory along with the Cloud vCenter. Configuring hybrid linked mode also affords you the ability to perform migrations between environments directly with the UI. Deploying the appliance is very simple. From the Cloud Console, we can navigate to Tools for the download link, this redirects us to our My VMware download page, where we can save the image locally and then run the installer. There are two stages, deploying the appliance and configuring hybrid linked mode. Click Start and navigate through the wizard. Provide the on-premises vCenter, FQDN, and credentials where you wish to deploy the appliance. Then select the data center, folder, and cluster. Provide a VM name and root password. Select the data store and then proceed to the network settings. Select the network or port group that the appliance should be connected to, then specify the FQDN, IP address, subnet, gateway, and DNS. Specify your NTP servers as time sync is especially important. Provide your POC information, which may be the same as the vCenter information depending on your configuration. Finally, join the appliance to Active Directory by providing a domain name and credentials. The appliance will be fully deployed and configured in about 10 to 15 minutes on average, but this varies based on your environment specifics. Once the deployment is complete, we can start the configuration and we only need to supply a small amount of information. Provide the Cloud vCenter FQDN and the password to the Cloud Admin account. Next, select the domain from the Identity Source drop-down menu, then search for the Active Directory groups that you wish to provide administrative access to. The linking process only takes a few minutes. At this point, we can launch the vSphere client by pointing our web browser at the vCenter Cloud Gateway Appliance, and then logging in with our Active Directory credentials. As long as our user is in the group that we provided access to during the configuration, we will be able to see all the vCenters in the same on-premises SSO domains, as well as our Cloud vCenter. Notice we can quickly get access to help, documentation, and chat support from the UI. As you can see from this walkthrough, deploying the appliance and establishing the link between the vCenters is incredibly simple and provides enormous flexibility, allowing customers to extend their data center, creating a truly hybrid cloud. Be sure to visit VMware Cloud Tech Zone for the latest VMware Cloud on AWS resources.